going to be cooking stuffed bell peppers. And look like we got some pretty good fellas to choose from. Let's get started. Well, they have some nice looking peppers up here. So I think I'm going to get three orange and three green. Keep it simple. Are two for four. The yellow ones are two for four. So I'll tell you what, let's get two yellow, two orange, and two green. guys so this is the recipe that we're going to be using it comes off of pinterest and it came originally from the southern lady cooks all right this looks really good um i usually get the stofers stuffed bell peppers and it doesn't come with the cheese on it like this so this is one that i really thought that looked really good <clears throat> they had a lot of different ones on pinterest they look different ways. So you can go on there and just pick out whichever one looks good to you and start cooking. Now, for some reason, my printer <laughs> didn't want to cooperate with me today. So I'm gonna hover over the recipe. I have to print out three different sheets in order to get the whole recipe. So I'm gonna hover over it and let you see what it looks like. And you can take a screenshot of it and print it out or write it down however you want to do it. So it calls for six large green peppers, eight if they're medium. You're gonna cut the tops off and you're gonna save them. One pound of lean ground beef, one medium onion chopped, one teaspoon of oregano or Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, half of a teaspoon of pepper, half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of minced garlic. All right, the second sheet of recipe of ingredients. Okay, the second, sheet of ingredients is half a teaspoon of dry basil, one four ounce can of green chilies drained. I caught the Dickens trying to find these in Ingles this morning, but I finally found them. Okay, one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes drained and saved. Drain and save the juice. One half cup of minute rice. You can use regular rice, but you have to cook it first if you do. One four ounce can of tomato sauce, optional. I will not be using that. And cheese for the toppings. Now this is your directions down here. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and hover over it for a little bit so you can see what they are. And you can screenshot it or write it down. Or just put it on, put the camera on pause. Now this is the last of the instructions. And it's just telling you everything to do. I'm not going to read this off because it gets kind of redundant, but here you are. It's gonna tell you everything to do. And I'm going to be making these today. I haven't made these in a long time since I was uh, probably in food service when I was in high school, when I was in the 11th grade. So um, we are gonna get started on these and I'm really anxious to taste them. All right. Let's get in the kitchen. Okay, before we get started, we're gonna look at all of our ingredients. It doesn't call for spaghetti sauce, but when I do get the Stouffer's stuffed peppers that are frozen, it has extra sauce on it, and I like that. So um, I got some ragu so I can pour it in the pan. All right, so we have got the six bell peppers, um, one medium onion, 
I have oregano, Worcestershire sauce, pepper and salt. I have minced garlic over there. Then I have, um, <clears throat> I don't have any basil. I have to look in the cabinet for that. I have the green chilies. I have one can of diced tomatoes. This is a 14.5 ounce can. And I got the zesty chili style. So I don't know if it's gonna be a little spicy, but um, we'll see <laughs> when I'll taste it. All right, the tomato sauce I did not get. All right, so the minute rice, I'm gonna be using brown rice instead of white rice. Um, trying to eat a little healthier this year. I know that this will be a little bit better for me than the white rice, so that's what we're gonna go with. We do have some regular minute rice in the cabinet, but I wanna try and see what it tastes like with brown. Okay, then we're gonna ha have cheese, but we're gonna put on top when we're done. So what we're gonna do right now, this right here is a 2.11 ounce, <clears throat> 2.11 pound package of brown beef. It only calls for one pound. And look what I found at Ingles this morning. <laughs> this is the Tony Catcher's injectable butter and jalapeno. Oh my goodness. I haven't saw this in a while. Walmart didn't even have the hot jalapeno flavor this year. I only saw the praline and butter and the garlic and butter. It might have had one more flavor, but I didn't see this right here. It's kind of spicy. So this is what I like to put in a turkey. And they had a whole bunch of them up there with different varieties. The last time I went to Walmart, I didn't see this at all, so they may be sold out. But little side stores like um, Ingles and maybe Balo probably have a lot of these left. So you better run up there and get them before they all get gone because I have six of them now. No, eight, including these two in my cabinet. And we're gonna, these are gonna try to, I'm gonna try to make these last all year long. All right. All right, guys, now back to this stuffed green peppers. All right, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put half of this ground beef in the pan, and I have to cut the tops off of these peppers and let them boil for five minutes so it softens them up. I wanna go ahead and get it done now so that by the time the ground beef gets done, the peppers will have cooled down enough for me to handle them. All right, so let me go ahead and get them cut. Okay, guys, as I said, <clears throat> I'm going to cut the tops off of the peppers first. You can do it any way you want to. Cut down in there if you want. But, let's see. It's gonna cut straight across. Okay, that's deep enough. And this bottom is gonna be sitting right up like that. Now, I had one of them that looked kind of crooked. That one. <laughs> All right, straight across, or straight down. We will cut all that off. And all of my peppers were pretty good and firm. Didn't have anything. That's a little bit of brown right there, so we're gonna take that out. Okay, so we're gonna put the tops over here in the sink for right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and take everything out, trying not to cut the sides of the peppers. I'm gonna clean all of this out. We're gonna rinse out the seeds. And these are sweet bell peppers. So they're not, there's not any heat in these. But sometimes if you are growing bell peppers in your garden and they're close to hot peppers, sometimes 
that heat can travel and get into the bell peppers. So just be careful for that if you ever go in bell peppers. <clears throat> okay, that's the one that had a little bit of moss down in there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna rinse these out. I'm gonna get all that pulp and membrane out of there and I'll be right back. All right, now this is how I was able to get all of that um, mildew or what you call it. I was able to get all that out of there. All right, so here's three of my peppers. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the water. All right, and that's the other three. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get my ingredients together. Okay, and it's basically telling me put everything together. teaspoon but I like a lot of pepper. I just add half a teaspoon of salt. I just went ahead and got the old El Paso chopped green chilies because it was a little bit cheaper than the um, Ingalls brand, the Lauren Lynn, and it had a little bit more in there. I'm gonna put this in here with the garlic. Once we get everything emptied, it'll be a whole lot easier when we get the ground beef going. And we're gonna ready to step over there right now to go ahead and turn that eye on. All right, and I have it on eight. It's like a medium heat. All right, now we are going to open up the canned tomatoes. So we'll just put that right there. for a medium chopped onion. This is a little bit larger than a medium.
I used a recipe years ago that called for black olives and the stuffed bell peppers and they were good, but this recipe doesn't call for it. So what I basically did was just go on Pinterest and find something that looked good to me. You know, like I said, there's a lot of different recipes, a lot of different versions of this. You go on there and you find which recipe you like best. Okay, what we're gonna do is walk the tripod over here to the stove so we can put everything in together. I have my peppers going and I'm browning the ground beef. These peppers haven't come to a full boil, but they've been in this hot water for a while. I'm gonna go ahead and drain them. Coming on six. Well, let me turn it back up some. I haven't added anything to this ground beef yet, but I'm going to add some extra seasoning to it since I used the whole pack. So it's two pounds. It just didn't look like it was going to be enough to stuff the pepper with just one pound of ground beef. some accent. <clears throat> now it says to add the chopped tops to this recipe, but I'm not gonna do that because I think I'm gonna have a hard enough time um, trying to get them to eat these peppers without adding more pepper to it. So I'm not going to add that to it. <clears throat> All right, and that's not a lot of grease left, but I'm going to go ahead and drain it. Okay. So it calls for the onions. Okay, so we're going to add the onions. Sauce. Okay, it calls for one. <clears throat> so, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add two. Because, as I said, I did double the amount of ground beef I'm using. And Worcestershire sauce just makes everything taste so much better. It gives it extra zing. Okay. All right. 
All right, now it's saying to add everything else. This is your salt, pepper, and oregano. Green chilies and garlic. <clears throat> you get that stirred up. Now we're going to add the tomatoes. I'm going to drain them first. tomatoes. Then it calls for <clears throat> to add your rice and you're going to let it simmer for about five minutes. This is our minute rice. And it calls for half a cup of minute rice. And this is one whole cup, so we're just going to add half a cup of rice to it. And that rice is going to puff up. Alright, we're going to let this simmer for five minutes. just until the rice has had enough time to tenderize a little bit. It smells good already. Go ahead and add some accent to it. So we're going to let this cook until six twenty four. We're gonna give it a taste to see what it tastes like to see what we need to add. And go ahead and read my ingredient list to make sure that I've added everything to this. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I really could have added this because it says to put that in the bottom of your baking dish. That's not enough to do anything. And I'm going to be using spaghetti sauce at the bottom of my baking dish. So, <clears throat> everything has been added. It's coming together pretty good. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to taste it. I'm a little nervous. This is a new dish. get nervous with new dishes especially when it's time for the family to eat the new dish I have some really crazy people here but let me tell you something I love stuffed bell peppers and don't let your family's dislike of a dish sway you from never cooking things that you like because if nobody here likes these um, peppers tonight that's gonna be more for me hey right now it's time to taste it this is the dish that I'm going to be using. You think so? Mm -hmm. I hope it tastes good, Delilah. Mm -hmm. It's cold. You're cold out here? Turn the heat on in it. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is cooked long enough. What I'm gonna do is turn it off. I don't want my ground beef to get chewy. Go over a little bit. take some olive oil, put it in the bottom of the pan, I'm going to coat my dish. Okay, that's good. Then I'm going to pour some spaghetti sauce in the bottom of the pan. Ragu. Okay, be very careful. What you can do to stop that spill, that splash, Always pour it into a spoon. Okay. Now we're going to move it around. And it has mushrooms and everything in it. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get the peppers. Let's see, what are we gonna put the peppers on? Let's just set them on the stove. And what I saw in one of the other recipes, not this one, is that they sprinkled salt into the peppers before they put the filling inside. And that's what I'm gonna do, cause it probably will make it a little bit more flavorful. Okay. And I haven't tasted this yet. So what am I waiting for? <clears throat> See what it tastes like. It's real hot. Mm. I taste everything together. That's pretty good. Mm. Trying to think, do I need to add anything before I continue because once it's done, once it's stuffed, it's stuffed. So let's see, what do I have up in here? The seasonings that I've taken down are my Laurie's seasoned salt and my Laurie's garlic salt. Now, you know, you don't have to go buy any recipe 100%. When you're cooking and you're using a recipe, you're basically using a base, but you're gonna be tasting anything that you are making to make it your own. And that's what we're gonna do here. We are going to add some more seasoning, give it some more flavor. <clears throat> and we're only gonna add one teaspoon of each seasoning. We're gonna see how much more flavor is awakened. It. We don't want it to be salty. We're just trying to give it some extra flavor. So let's get it stirred up. And then we're going to give it another taste. Now it's 
try it again. That's better. That is so much better. All right, so now we're gonna stuff the peppers. And we're gonna put half, stuff them halfway. Well, I was gonna put it halfway, but that's more than halfway. So that's how much we're gonna put in there to start. And we're just gonna sit them that way. And you wanna mix your colors. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be delicious. And green. Okay, now we're gonna come back and we're gonna add a little bit more <clears throat> to the ones that didn't get all the way filled in. And with these, unlike the Stouffer's, you really don't know everything that's in your stuffed bell peppers when you get them frozen. Even though you can, you can see the ingredient list, they're still not gonna be the good meat like this. Whoops. Okay. We're just gonna pour the rest of this meat. In the bottom of the sauce. Turn the oven on 400. So this is what the stuffed bell peppers look like before we put them in the oven and we let them cook. We we'll have everything mashed down and that is going to be so delicious with that extra meat to flavor that sauce. And then we're going to pour more sauce on top. a little more. All right, I'll debate it on if I wanted to cover this or not. But let me look at the recipe and see if it says to cover it. All right, let's see what it says. It says Bake peppers in preheated 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. Remove and add shredded cheese to top each pepper. Return to the oven for five more minutes until cheese melts. This recipe makes six to eight stuffed peppers. Okay, so it didn't say to cover it, so we're not gonna cover it. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put it in the oven for 20 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna take it out and put the cheese on top of it. And mm, 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 I can't wait. All right guys, I will be right back. Okay, let's open the oven. Okay, oh my goodness. Mm -mm. Look at that. Ooh. 
looks so much better than anything Stouffer's has ever made. <laughs> okay, so we have like two minutes and 34 seconds left on the timer. And when it stops, we're gonna take the peppers out, put the cheese on the top and let it melt. All right, look at all of that bubbly goodness. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. We're going to top the peppers with cheese, put it back in the oven for five more minutes, and then that's gonna be it. So we'll be ready to eat. And I am doing this with my fingers. See that sauce on the bottom has got a little bit thick. Cause I always like the way ragu spaghetti sauce cooks up. All right, that is it. All right, we're gonna put that back into the oven. Okay guys, this is so yummy looking. Oh my goodness, I haven't made these in so long. They look so good and appetizing. They're fresh out of the oven. They're really piping hot. So we're gonna let them cool down for about 10 minutes before we bite into it. All right, and then we will be right back for a taste test. I have better luck with this one. Mm -hmm. okay. Put it down like that. Now we're gonna come in here and get some of this sauce. And put it on the side. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Only thing we need on top of it is some parsley to make it real pretty. So it still has to cool down. I was a little anxious and I went on ahead and got it out. All right guys, so we're gonna say the blessing. I'll say it today. God is great, God is good. Let us thank him for our food. By our hands we shall be fed. Give us Lord our daily bread, amen. amen. All right, let's try this. The girls have never tried this before. And I want your honest opinion. Uh, I'm gonna chop okay. mine like this, and this is a whole meal because it has vegetable, it has meat, cheese, it has rice, tomato. and tomato. So this is a whole meal. Everybody's cutting back, so we're trying to eat healthier. <laughs> You're not trying to eat Okay. Um, can I get some of you can and take a bite of your pepper. I can't blow it because it's very hot. Ah. I don't know. Okay, let me just do it for something. How about bite it? <laughs> okay. Let me put it for you. Mm, yes, that is very good. Bill peppers. I can't get them out. Bill peppers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like them. And put yours in here. Mm -hmm. Like to do it with the knife. I taste a little bit of the pepper. Like you like raw bell peppers. You don't really like cooked bell peppers too good, but this is something like different. Oh, what is that? Mm -hmm. You're going to hand because you don't bring it in. Yeah, I don't like it. I gotta move all the meat. It's still kind of <clears> hard though. Hot? The bell peppers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which should be firm. Because you want it to fall apart. That feeling is really good. I'm just trying to get pepper. Mm -hmm. That's why I like to put some sauce on the bottom so you can juice it up a little bit. And that cheese just knocks off really good. You said our honest opinion? Your yeah, honest opinion. I don't ever want you to lie about anything I cook. Okay. <clears throat> 
I feel like anything like that, but this is good. That's right. But I have opinion. Mm -hmm. You don't have to like it because I cook it. Mm. It's good to me. You like bell pepper? Well, I just opinion is and it's nasty. Okay. I feel bad. You don't have to feel bad. What don't you like about it? That mm -hmm. meat, the onion, and tomato. I don't like the change of like, but what about the rice? Can you even see the rice? No. You just gotta spit that out on camera. They can't see it. Jalayla is very picky. She doesn't like meat. We have a long way to go with her. I'm getting some small. Buy me some. Nope. <laughs> Buy me one. One what? Never mind. A sprint. I mean a spread. What is that? A sprite. <laughs> oh, really? So I guess I get to drink yours. No. I'm talking about putting your lips on my stuff. <laughs> my lips. <laughs> Yeah. All right, that's yours. Why turn your cap off? Why? Did I find something? it? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> it if, if you want to lift you up, and then and me hitting each other. Oh, all right, guys. <clears throat> this is very good. I love it. I would recommend anybody to try it. It's a healthy meal. It's actually a healthy meal. So meat is healthy. I have for a cream. Well, you can use a fat-free cheese, but I'm using regular cheese. You can substitute the ground beef for ground turkey or sausage. So you think Daddy likes it? I don't know if Daddy's gonna like it or not, if he's gonna try it. Oh, no. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I don't like it. That's my honest opinion, y'all. Okay. I don't like it. That's fine. You think I'm getting mad at you? Yeah. No. <clears throat> I'm going to have to take some next time tonight, though, before I go to bed. What's that? Something for heartburn. Because it's not hot, spicy, but it does have a lot of spices in it, and sometimes that makes me have heartburn in the middle of the night. So I will be taking my next in when I go upstairs. So I love this meal. It's simple, it's easy. Don't take a lot of time to put together. And it's good. If you eat the frozen stokers, bell peppers, you need to try this. <clears throat> are you gonna eat or are you gonna mess over it? Yes. Well, what do you think you're gonna eat for dinner tonight? Drunk. No, you're not. You're gonna eat that. Mm -hmm. Eat the meat. Yeah. You got to eat the paper. The meat. Mm-hmm. She's gonna spread it out like she did right there. Do better. Hmm? Mm hmm Not what you're doing there. Okay. My thumbnail is probably this. Wow. Thumbnail! <laughs> Come on. Okay. Alright. You ready? Do you need my knife, Lauren? Okay, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end out this video. What is that now? You ready? No, I already have a thumbnail that I'm gonna use. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you wanna be notified each time I upload a new video, hit the bell below. Thanks, and God bless. Bye, guys.